Hey guys, not too crooked today. Um, we're at, this is our, now, where we were parked now, this is our closest gas station, which is, uh, I think it's a marathon. I don't know. I'm going to guess it's a marathon. But we're down to our last, uh, we're running on fumes. So we haven't been out, so. Um, let's see. The distance till empty says 50, 55 miles. Let me see here. Oh, 51. So, I don't believe it though because uh, the needle's right on empty. Anyway, we're taking care of that right now. Um, and then we're going to Mount Pleasant to get a few groceries. Going to see if our newest favorite restaurant is open yet. Get some food. And uh, if it's not, we'll just go to like Culver's or something. Now that we're allowed to go into restaurants again. Um, so it is 72 beautiful breezy degrees. Sun is out. It's 1.46 in the afternoon. And that's it. Did, uh, Maisie got her exercise today. The last couple days we've had storms and mud, high winds. And so she didn't get to run around. Today she did. We played ball for a while. And then she, I sat outside for a while and she sat, laid down at my feet for a while. And then um, we saw a pileated woodpecker come to right next to our bird feeder to a post there. And I tried to get my phone, my camera on in time and I didn't make it. So that was sad. Um, I, although I'll never ever beat the video I got when we were in West Branch in the pool right outside our RV. There was those three pileated playing and chasing each other for like 10 minutes. And I recorded it on video. And that's probably the best pileated I've, I've ever had. But um, I still got to work on Pete's. Uh, slideshow because he's got he is getting some fantastic wildlife pic, wildlife pictures because he gets up before it gets light out and he's out there when the when the dawn starts and all the animals come out he gets some amazing pictures Let's see what the oh we're almost to a half the needle's almost to a half I bet you we're gonna have the gas is going up in price. It's gone up about 70 cents in the last few weeks. So anyway, three and a half minutes, I'm going to go and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay, guys, I don't know if you remember us being here before the diner. And um, we've been here a couple times, and I don't know if I recorded because we come for the fish dinner Friday night and it's always packed. So I may not have recorded. But we'll be back tomorrow for the fish dinner. And uh, they got everything all prepared with all the sh shower curtains between the tables. And um, there's my Petey. So it's just a diner. Very nice. They got the best food ever. Love it here. So sounds like something happened that somebody wasn't happy about. So I will see you guys later. Bye. I got clam basket. We already ate our coleslaw. They give you a big thing too. You don't have to run out. Pete got a shrimp basket. There must be a couple dozen shrimp there, huh? Of course, drinking coffee. Yum. Can't wait to dig in. Hi guys, just came out of Aldi. Pete's putting everything away. We pack it in the car instead of standing in there packing it. Because we keep the bags in the car and the freezer cooler thing in the car and all that. So Pete just packs it in here. Especially on a nice day like today. 76 to 348. It's about 155 something. 
and that'll be good for about two weeks. So that's excellent considering half of it, nearly half of it was organic for Pete. Nearly half of it was keto stuff, which is, tends to be more expensive. stuff that we would normally be able to like fit in the fridge or the freezer because now we have another fridge and freezer to use in the other RV so we got more fresh produce and stuff so I'm happy about that I got hello I got some I love those little you know those little cucumbers oh, love those things I like them just dipped in um, tuna salad or chicken salad or egg salad. Or, they are so good. So, um, I guess we're heading home now after we ate. We came here. Really stoked that our restaurant didn't close permanently. Really stoked about that. So, um, we'll get to go there for fish tomorrow night, too. And Saturday, my sister's coming, and mother-in-law. And uh, they're coming over, so. Interestingly enough, tomorrow's my sister's birthday, and Saturday's my brother-in-law's birthday. So, the Amish are closed on Thursday, so tomorrow we'll go up to the Amish store. I want to get her something, and then uh, they always have good stuff there. And then uh, we'll get them a we'll get them a gift card so they can go out for dinner or whatever too for the two of them. So it was nice. We went in the restaurant, and you know it was nice to be able to go in, and sit down. I will never take that for granted again. Uh, and all to hear, everybody was wearing masks. There was us, and then two. Um, I believe they were Mennonite women. Uh, that were not wearing masks and everybody else in the store was wearing masks, so whatever Last time I wore a mask was when we were out Lyra and I were out and I got so out of breath And my puffer wasn't helping me. I just I'm just not going to do that to myself again I don't think asthmatics should block their airflow just saying so anyway, I'll probably call it a day here because we go home, put the groceries away, probably work with Maisie on her, you know, her training. Um, and put, make some music, answer some emails and comments. You know, pretty much it. So I will see you guys next time, and I hope you are all having a great day. Take care and God bless.